to do it like the team view and just go, Micro Center's here and just no. drop it? No. We just got back from vacation. The vacation. The vacation where we built Billy his brand new computer. If you haven't watched that video, please go check it out after this one. Vacations for us at this point mean going to our homes to visit our parents, which isn't that bad because both of our parents live near a micro center. The happiest place on earth. We love micro center. There's not one that happens to be in the, can I call this a podunk town? Oh, I was gonna call it the armpit of America. Oh, we don't have a micro center here. So it's always an exciting time when we get to visit one whenever we're going home to see our parents. So this trip, to Micro Center was just supposed to be to buy the parts for Billy's computer and maybe like one or two small things. I'm not very good at following directions, even if they're my own. So I got some new things for myself. I want to go ahead and unbox them today and then we'll get them set up in the stream room. Tomorrow we're gonna try to go to Ikea and get a new pegboard thing for me so that I have a place to put my old stuff. In the stream room tour, I talked about how I've had my mouse for, I think it was like 13 years or something, or maybe it was since 2013, so like 10 years that I've had my mouse. I've been putting off any kind of upgrade with the mouse, but they kind of had like the perfect upgrade for me, which is the same mouse, <laughs> but it comes in white and wireless so it is an upgrade from what i have it will be a little bit different as far as the fact that i'll have to charge it but other than that it's pretty much the exact same mouse i do already have one of these in black that i use with my laptop so this will now be the third logitech g502 mouse that i will have in my collection so after I picked out the mouse at Micro Center, I was just kind of going down the different aisles and looking at the different things that they had there. This is not in any way a need or anything that I had planned on upgrading anytime soon. The G735 headset from Logitech. It is a very pretty white and it has the plate sink or whatever you want to call it. I saw this and I really wanted it and I knew that it was not something I needed and a bit more than we should be spending with our budget, but it was one of those, I'm gonna buy this for my mental health type deals. Left the first day when we bought all of Billy's stuff with a new headset and a new mouse. Since we were already up there on vacation after coming back from building Billy's PC, Alex very nicely asked me if we could make a return trip to Micro Center where I went in with the plan that I was not going to buy anything else. I had already gotten two things that I shouldn't have gotten on the first trip and I felt I had treated myself just fine and I didn't need anything else except that I decided I did. All I got was new thermal paste. The Logitech G713 keyboard. It does go along with the headset that I picked out so the lighting will sync and everything like that, which I think everything with Logitech, you can get the lighting to sync, but they are from the same line. I've been talking about getting a white keyboard. I've been wanting to do another mechanical keyboard build. Now this one is not hot swappable with the switches, but I can change out the keycaps. And I wanted to get just something a little bit different. Found these Steel Series keycaps which allow just a little bit of lighting to come in from underneath because it's like a frosted clear bottom to them. I just wanted to have a little bit more customization than just the keyboard off the shelf the way it is. If any of this looks appealing to you and you are thinking that you wanna get this for yourself, do yourself a favor and just go ahead and buy it on Amazon because I didn't think to do the research while we were in the store and could have saved $100 on all of these items if I had just bought them on Amazon. So just a little bit of a hint. I do still love you, Micro Center, but pricing is beatable. You think they'll still sponsor us? Uh, I love you, Micro Center. No stickers. So beautiful. There's the mouse. We have our little wireless dongle. Dongle. I don't know what this little guy is. Maybe like a replacement bumper button, but I actually like that one. There actually has been an upgrade since the black version of the wireless one that I bought before that I used on my laptop because it now charges through USB-C. The only thing 
that I feel like I'm missing is part of the reason I love this mouse so much is the ability to weight it. And I'm wondering if they don't have that on this one. On this mouse, this is the little uh, compartment where you can store your dongle if you're taking it on the on the go. But it does seem like they got rid of the ability to weight the mouse. And that's very disappointing because that's the thing that I love about Logitech. But I will use it and see if I can get used to it. If I end up back with my 10 year old wired mouse, you'll know it's because this one wasn't heavy enough for me. I don't need a knife for this one. Uh, because it just opens. But it's got a cool inside of the box here with the little cloud designs. Some nice fancy paper. Here's the headset with the left and right marked on the inside of the ear cuffs. I think they're not like as bulky as my current ones but I'm excited to see them like lit up with the aura effects or I'm gonna keep calling it aura and I think that's a Asus yeah. thing but we have some buttons and knobs and things on the headset itself there is a place you can plug in a mic I will probably never use that okay so this has the mic cable and instructables butterfingers uh, we have the little dongle here that we'll need to I'm gonna have to figure out where to plug all this stuff in if you were interested in using the microphone on this it would just get plugged in right there it does feel a little bit bendy uh, doesn't really stay when you bend it. There's your mic, which I will not use. Put it back in the box. Put the instructions back in the box. Instructions are for people who like instructions. Now for the G713 keyboard. Full disclosure, this has already been opened. We wanted to make sure that the keycaps would work on it before we left Maryland, where we could actually take it back if we needed to. So have still that pretty paper. I really like the packaging that they did on this whole line. They did a really good job packaging for the price that you pay. Um, I think that's the least they could do. <laughs> but again, if you want to pay a little bit less than I did, uh, shop around for the best deal. Don't just buy it as soon as you see it because it's little pretty. Here's the keyboard. It comes with cardboard, a sticker. Now, if you saw the Timu video, I bought a knockoff one of these and now I have the real thing. I think this one will fit better with this keyboard. I think my other one is longer, but I have the actual Logitech G cloud wrist rest. So I'll see which one fits better and which one I like better. We have the, the cord <laughs> cable for the keyboard. I did go with a wired keyboard rather than wireless uh, for a couple of reasons, one of which was cost. And just so that I know for sure it's got the lowest latency on a keyboard. So we'll get a quick sound test of the keyboard. Now type an angry letter to your boss. Type an apology letter because you're getting me to CC the whole company. <laughs> I did a frowny face.
we made it to the Ikea and I got my pegboard. So it's time to go ahead and hang it up and get the old peripherals up on the wall and out of my way so I can set up all my new stuff. I've gotten everything hooked up. It's pretty much charged. I think everything's at at least a usable level. I uh, got some of the colors the way that I want them. I know that Logitech is supposed to have something where you can get them all to sync up. I haven't quite gotten that to work. So far, I love everything. I love the way that the keyboard types. I do like these keycaps. I think maybe when it's darker in here, you'll be able to get a little bit more of the lighting coming through the frosted bottoms of the keycaps. Something for me to play around with over the next few days and get everything exactly how I like it. Let me know what you guys think of my new purchases, if you like them, if you think I should get Corsair stuff like yes, somebody should. else. 100%. But probably not. We're probably not going to do that. I mean, I put a giant G sticker on my water cup for a reason. After a few days of using a 10 keyless, I realized how much I missed having a number pad. So I did end up buying this one off of Amazon and using the same keycaps. So it kind of matches. The lighting is different, but Logitech, if you're watching, please make a matching number pad to go along with this keyboard. I'll love you forever. Leave all your comments below and I'll respond to them. Okay, love you, bye.